Hi, I'm Mario Vitale. We're making pizza margherita, a classic pie with just tomato, mozzarella, and basil, just like a pizzeria in Naples, except we're making it in a home kitchen. So there's only one dangerous moment in creating the use of yeast, and that's that your temperature of your water has to be about blood temperature. You want it around 98 or 100. If you got that, then you're gold. You can see the yeast is now puffing up. It's making its move. It's actually starting to live because it's feeding on the sugar. If you had put salt in there already, it would have slowed down the growth because the salt actually kills it. The key to all pizza and pasta is understanding that the bread or the noodle is everything. Like real pizza is made with exactly these ingredients. The only thing they have is a 500 degree oven, so it puffs up more. This won't puff up so much, but it'll puff up. Anybody can make this. That's why it's such a good thing. I cook for my family all the time, but I cook for like our holidays. Like I'm the kind of guy that in August, I'm mapping out my New Year's, my Christmas, and my Thanksgiving menus, getting them all in order, deciding the wines. I'm a Virgo, that's where we live. How much we can do about that. So when I'm looking at the pizza, I need the frame and the crust to be really fundamental. The sauce is important, but it can't be a cooked sauce. It can't be really spiced up. It just needs to be San Marzano tomatoes or Pomi tomatoes, just pure tomatoes. That's it with a little salt. Cheese, anything you want to go at. For me, a little mozzarella and not very much is really good because Americans tend to confuse abundanza for being better than balanced or even minimal. Ab abundanza means abundance, which everyone thinks to mean that the more stuff you put on it, the more Italian it is, but it isn't. Italian is all about balance. So I'm always looking for less stuff on it, higher quality, and a char around the base and on the bottom. Because the char, that almost not quite burnt, but blackened deliciousness, really allows me to taste the full spectrum of flavor from the sweetness of the tomato to the dairy of the cheese, the high point of the basil, and then the fundamental warmth of the wheat and the crust. That is what pizza should be. Oh, yeah.